Hey, Pangapsamnida! In my last vlog about the different gyms and lifting nuances here in Korea, one user commented, My question is, how do they, Koreans, stay so darn thin and fit? I think many people think that Korean food is somehow healthier than food in other countries, say like America. And in my opinion, that's really not that true. I mean, in America, with the sheer girth of crops and the availability of fruits and vegetables and now all the organic food sources, you, you can't find healthier choices anywhere. But on every corner, on every block in Korea, you will likely find a fast food joint, Dunkin' Donuts, Krispy Kreme, fried chicken, and every rice-based snack usually fried with some type of high sodium, high fructose sauce smothering it. Yet the, the rate of obesity is pretty much non-existent here in Korea. But things are kind of changing uh, from what I can see. So, why are Koreans less fat than Americans? Another user chimed in on that previous comment to say, Koreans tend to be skinny as they eat less compared to America. There, Americans, food portions are 50 to 100 percent larger. I can say for certain that one thing that I miss about America is when I leave a restaurant in Korea, on many occasions I don't feel completely full or stuffed. Even when I go and get the Korean version of a supersize, it's really just like a large. And the sodas, there's no refills on the sodas at places like McDonald's or Burger King, at least here in Busan. The other night I went out for a burrito and it was tasty but it was about the size of like a hot pocket. I mean, in South Florida, where I'm from, some of the burritos that you can get are like the size of footballs. I mean, you can practically have a heart attack after eating one of those things. And here's proof that portion size is the greatest factor for the difference. I recently found a story about an Iowa science teacher named John Cisna. You can look it up when you get a chance. He lost nearly 40 pounds by eating nothing but McDonald's food for 90 days. He claims that this included your Big Macs and your Quarter Pounders with cheese and all the good stuff. And he also claims that his cholesterol dropped nearly 80 points. Now he did this by sticking to a strict 2,000 calorie per day diet plan of McDonald's food that was designed by his students. So there you go, portion size. I wouldn't recommend for anybody to go out and eat McDonald's like that, but it just goes to show you that your daily portion size is probably the greatest contributor to obesity, in my opinion, and something that I see that Koreans have a firm grasp on. So, Koreans stay thinner. For now. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.